When I summon them, they stand at attention. Who's speaking here? Yahweh. Yahweh. You all hear that? Yahweh. My Muslim brother says Yahweh is speaking. Yeah. I've got you. Notice how he's trying to talk about translation. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the translation. Great. I'm asking you the understanding of that verse. There's a difference between the understanding of a verse and the translation of a verse. Mr. Brown, we'll get to you. I just want to ask, how do you differentiate between person and being? A being is the thing that it is, and a person is who it is. Okay, who it is. Now, you believe God is one being? Yes. In three persons? Yes. Do the persons possess divinity? Yes. Is that not a heresy? No. According to many Christians, it's a heresy. So, so in Do terms of... Dr. James White said it's a heresy. So, in terms of... I say it, you already believe... Oh, sorry, being yeah, sorry, I, look, 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 let, 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 me be, let me be clear. That's what I understand. Let me, let me, let me be clear, yeah. let me be clear, because I think, I think you're using language in a technical way, and I think now I, I understand the way that you're, you're asking the question. If we're saying all the persons divine, yes, we're, we're saying that all the persons are divine. If we're saying that divinity is a possession of the person, then no, we're not saying that. Okay, that's, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. No, 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 that, 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 yeah. We wouldn't say that divinity is a possession of the person, but we would say that all of the persons of the Trinity are divine. So the belief that God is three persons in one being, um, where, where did you get that from? Sorry? Where did you get that from? Like, not from the New Testament. But is, like, for example, uh, the, the we've, got, we've got this cowardly, we've got our cowardly heckler is back, who if I challenge him, he'll run away. If I walk towards him, he'll run away. Go on. So where, where, where did the belief in the Trinity come from? So the belief in the Trinity comes from the Bible. It's in the Bible. Okay. The Old Testament or New? Both. Okay. Where in the Old Testament? I'll show you. Will you hold that? Okay. So, what, what you've got to understand, bro, is that when it comes to the, the Trinity, Christians don't have a single proof text to what we believe about God. Yeah? We believe... What does that mean? So, what we believe about God is that we we take everything that the Bible says from beginning to end and we hold it all up together in tension with itself and we see what comes out of the mix. And when you take all what the Bible says about God and allow it to stand together and, and, and see what comes out of the mix, you come up with a conclusion of Trinity. So I'll, I'll give you an example of that from the Old Testament, okay? So if you just hold that for one second for me. Was he serious or was he joking? Sure. Was he serious or was he joking when he called the woman dog and that was only sent to the of Israel? This is the question you need to be asked. Oh, no, and you walked talking. away from the so answer, bro. Don't buy, don't buy, so don't buy. Joking. Yeah, so sorry. Be taking the job. This is disgraceful. Okay, listen to this passage. And as, as, as you listen to it, I want you to a, a, answer me questions, okay? Listen to me, O Israel, whom I called, I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My hand laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they stand at attention. Who's speaking here? Yahweh. Yahweh. You all hear that? My Muslim brother says Yahweh is speaking. I've got you. So, assemble all of you and hear who among them has declared these things. Yahweh loves him. He shall perform his purposes on Babylon. That's speaking about Cyrus. Okay? And his arm will be against the Chaldeans. I, even I have spoken and called him. I have brought him. And he will prosper in his way. Draw near to me. Hear this. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. From the time it came to be, I have been there. Who's speaking? Yahweh. Yahweh. So Yahweh is speaking. And now... Yahweh God, sorry, Adonai God has sent me with his spirit. So who was speaking? God. God. Right. So listen, did you hear, the, did you catch that last bit? It says, and now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. So the spirit is the spirit of the Lord God. The one who is speaking that set the foundations of the earth, that was the first and the, that is the first and the last, that was there before all things, he was sent by the Lord God. So we have three personages, all of whom are divine, all of whom are attributed with divinity in the Old Testament. What do you say to that? Well, answer is, well, what I would say to that is, do you understand the original language? 
of Isaiah, which is Hebrew. Do you understand? No, no, I speak English. So then how can you how can you deduce that if you don't know the original language of the scriptures? Because the people that translated it do? No, no, no. I'm on about... Are you saying they don't? The Jew, how the Jew understood it. Uh, sorry, are you saying that they don't? The no, they don't. The so Jews, you're saying... Uh, or, the Jews, okay. Was it not? So I'm just going to... One second. The at the time understand it the way you just understood it right now. So... Right, let's do a just quick camera. And understands it. Okay. In his, in his own original language. So, so, so let me just address this question. Because we, I mean, this is how desperate Muslims sometimes sound. I actually asked you the question, do the people who translated this text, the scholars who, tra let me finish I'm my point. Let me finish, let me finish, not, not let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Because if we do the interruption thing, I'll interrupt you, you'll interrupt me, then I'll shout. And believe me, I can shout louder than you and longer than you can. Well, we, we can try it if you want. So I, I said to you that the people that translated this text are scholars that know Hebrew. And you said, no, they didn't. That's what you said in reply to that comment. Now, that just shows... How, well, let me finish my point, bro, before you interrupt, because this conversation will descend into chaos if you don't. The reality is that that shows how desperate you are to clutch at any straw. The text of the Old Testament that we have translated in English is translated by competent scholars in the Hebrew language. So when they translate this, they are not ignorant people translating this text. They are people that know the languages. Do you know Hebrew? Uh, no. No. But let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me finish. Okay, I'll just get to start speaking louder. So the point that I'm making, the point that I'm making is that to claim, to make the claim that the Hebrew doesn't say that, when you don't know the Hebrew, but the scholars that translate it do know the Hebrew, is you literally clutching at straws. Address the verse as it is translated. Deal with that, please. The problem here is not the translation. We're not talking about the translation. Notice how he's trying to talk about translation. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the translation. Great. I'm asking you the understanding of that verse. There's a difference between the understanding of a verse and the translation of a verse. And that's Great. why he's very, you know, they're very clever. That this is what they're taught to do. How did the Jew or Isaiah who wrote it understand it the way you did? Not the translation. The translation is absolutely fine because the Hebrew Bible is translated into English today and Jews, they read it in English as well. How does the Jew, whose book it is, understand it? Where have you got your understanding from? I'm not talking about the translation. Okay. Your understanding, where's it come from? So, so let's, 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 According let's, 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 language, let's deal with, let's, 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 let's deal with, let's deal with a text because something tells me the brother is going to run away from the text. I read the text to you. You agreed that it was Yahweh speaking. We have you yes. on camera. I, that's fine. Yeah. Fine. So tell me, how does Yahweh send Yahweh with the spirit of Yahweh? I'm not asking you how. I'm asking you how do you come to that understanding? I, which which Because I read the text. So which Jew preceded you in this understanding? Can you cite any authority before the, the apostles? New Testament? No, no, no. Before that's why I said before the New Testament. Can you cite any authority, any rabbi? Who believed it as you just so, said that? So now. You, you should look up a book called When the Rabbis Believed in the Trinity. Okay. It's a book. Was that before? Are you listening? After the New Testament? No, it's, it's talking about before. Okay, go ahead. So you, you should look up an academic work and maybe you'll put up a, a, a picture of it on the screen for your benefit. It's called When Rabbis Believed in the Trinity. When you look into, for example, um, the. Um, who was the Alexandrian scholar that was before Christ? I forget his name. It'll come to me. Um, Oh, flipping heck. So, for instance, even before, even before Christians and before Christianity, yep. there's discourse amongst the Jews about the two powers. Yes, I know that. Yeah. So, you, you, there's discourse even amongst the Jews about the two powers. Benjamin Summers. What? So Benjamin Summers. That's the guy that wrote, maybe wrote the book about the, when rabbis believed in the Trinity. Yes. But I'm talking about the Jewish scholar who talked about the two powers. So. Now, now that I've shown you, given you an academic work to go away and do your research, where, where he quotes pre-Christian texts talking about the Trinity, right? What I want you to do is not to obfuscate, not to dodge, not to sidestep. I want you to answer my question. You haven't answered mine, though. I, I, so, so you I. Well, I can, one second. I can answer your question. You asked me. You, you asked mine. me to give you an authority, a Jewish authority, but that believed in the Trinity, the apostles. Then no, you no, said. No, before, then you said before, before, before yeah. and then I've given you a source that you then. can look at. Can I don't have it? the book on me. When you came to me randomly out of the blue, so, so, so I was not. I was not thinking we would, could have this debate. I can get this book. We can sit down and discuss it if you want to. But I want you now to address my question. No, I want you to address my question. 
You gave me the book. Here's my question. <laughs> my question you gave is, me the book. how I'll does it, it says in the scripture that Yahweh sends Yahweh with the spirit of Yahweh from Yahweh? That doesn't make any sense. So I want you to answer me this question. How does Yahweh send Yahweh with the spirit of Yahweh? Answer me that question. I don't care how he does it. He my doesn't question, care. My question to you is where's the understanding from? You can't answer. So, you haven't answered my question. So, and because you haven't answered, I gotta go. There you go. And like all Dai, like all Muslims that come to the park and challenge Christians, they come out with their script. They come out with their script. They've got a 20 minute script, a two minute argument. The moment you take them outside of their script, they are completely clueless. For all of you guys who came later, this brother read a passage of scripture with me and he agreed that Yahweh was speaking. When I summon them, they stand at attention. Who's speaking here? Yahweh. Yahweh. You all hear that? My Muslim brother says Yahweh is speaking. For your benefit and edification, I will read it again. Pay attention. So, listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, whom I called, I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My hand laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summon them, they stand to attention. Assemble all of you and hear who among them has declared these things. The Lord loves him. He shall perform his purposes on Babylon, and his harm shall be against the Chaldeans. I, even I have spoken and called him. I have brought him, and he will prosper in his ways. Draw near to me and hear this. From the beginning, I have not spoken in secret. From the time it came to be, I have been there. And now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. Send him. The, exactly, send, send him. him. Send At least he was listening. God send who? The one who founded the earth. The one who stretched out the heavens. The one who is the first. The one who is the last, the one who did not speak in secret, the one who was there when it was spoken, who the Muslim acknowledged was Yahweh. But then, when the same script demonstrates the Trinity in the Old Testament, the Muslim didn't want to engage and walk away. So now you've heckled, come, let's have a debate. Okay, what, what's your point?